Call the meeting of the City Council for Monday, March 9th, 2015 to order. Please stand. Pledge allegiance to the flag. To the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. You could all remain standing. I'd like to take a moment of silence for a fine Brock Tony that passed away, Hugo Paparol. If you knew Mr. Paparol, he was a, uh, a veteran of World War II. He was. Uh, on the uh, BRA for many, many years. He helped actually formulate the holiday parade. Just a great guy, he passed away at 90. And just a few years ago, he was here at City Hall doing the uh, practicing dancing, believe it or not, for dancing with the uh, Charity Guild, the Dancing with the Stars. So, uh, of course, he leaves his family, his wife, Marge. So if we could take a moment of silence for Mr. Paparo, it's well-deserved. May he rest in peace. Thank you, Mr. President. President. Mr. We have the appointment of Dennis Texera, 31 North Manchester Street, Brockton, as a member of the Brockton Housing Authority for a five-year term ending March 2020. Referred to finance. We have the reappointment of Daniel S. Clegg, 179 Bellevue Avenue, Brockton, Brockton Council on Aging, for a three-year term ending March 2018. Referred to finance. We have the report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of March 2nd, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have the report from the Finance Committee for its meeting of March 2nd, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the city solicitor submitting copies of the following documents. Settlement agreement, Brockton Power LLC et al. versus City of Brockton et al. 12-11047-LTS, agreement for the sale of AWRF effluent. A copy of the concessions obtained in the matter of the Brockton uh, Power Company LLC, docket number 2011-025, settlement documentation to be submitted by Council of Record. Referred to finance. We have a communication from the Council on Aging Director requesting a reward from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs is accepted in the amount of $124,604.01. There is no match to the city. The grant will be used for salaries, including overtime, energy department equipment, repairs, printing, office supplies, registration memberships, and subscriptions. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on from file. From the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Council of Aging Director requesting the city the council accept an award in the amount of $600 from the Mass Council on Aging. city is not required to match these funds. The funds will be used at an annual stipend for a local walking club champion to organize a new walking club, select walking routes inside and out of the recruit walkers. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the Accepted same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the DPW commissioner requested that the city council expend additional funds up to amount of four million dollars for the purpose of fiscal 2015 snow removal budget in accordance with chapter 44 section 31d of the mass general laws accepted and placed on file Application from the mayor recommending the same accepted and placed on file Application from the cfo in accordance with section 5 of chapter 324 of the acts of 1990 cannot certify the proposed full million in deficit spending in the DPW highway snow removal for the purpose of fiscal 2015 snow removal. If that large deficit is incurred during fiscal 15, it will have to be paid from fiscal 16 funds, and doing so would impact the financing available to sustain services into fiscal 16. Nonetheless, the CFO recommends that the City Council approves this order is failing to do so would impact the safety of the city's highways during the balances of the winter season. It is possible to help finance this deficit in fiscal 16 if the mayor is willing to propose and the council is willing to appropriate from the unused levy capacity in fiscal 16. In fiscal 15, about 2.5 million is unused levy capacity existed. In fiscal 16, it will be about 5.5 million, which is available without the need for an override vote. It is also possible that some assistance may be made available by the state through federal funds. Accepted and placed on file. 
We have the petition of National Grid proposing to install a new conduit on Montello Street from Center Street to Petronelli Way for the purpose of replacing damaged conduit in that same area. In Council February 23, 2015, <coughs> Council Dinopoli motion to postpone, properly seconded, the motion carried by a hand vote. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. If there's somebody here in favor, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Thank you. Uh, my name is Thomas Blickars, for the record. That's spelled B as in boy, L-I-C-H-A-R-Z, as in zebra. I work for UC Synergetic of Mansfield. Uh, we are engineering and rights-of-way consultants for Verizon. Uh, so I'm here on, on behalf of Verizon, actually, to petition for that conduit, sir. I believe you said Engrid. Uh, it's really Verizon that's requesting that conduit. Okay, so there's a, there's a mistake. I think there's a typo there. Right, yeah. So it's Verizon, not uh, National Grid. It's got Verizon and National Grid. It says, it says both? Okay. Yeah. Okay, any, any case, we'll correct that. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, um, during the process of uh, demoing a building uh, in that location on Montello and uh, uh, building the new one there, uh, uh, Verizon's conduit was damaged and cables inside that conduit were damaged as well. Verizon had a few spare ducts, so uh, it was able to place some new cables and restore service. What Verizon would like to do now is put back that conduit the way it was before or as close as possible, so we have a pathway for more cables that we uh, had planned in that area. Okay, okay, very good. Is there uh, anyone else here in favor that wishes to be heard on this particular item? Please come forward, state your name, and address to the clerk as well. <coughs> Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed. Is there anybody here in opposition? Please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Seeing none, I declare that part of the hearing closed as well. I believe the next item is uh, calling for it to be granted. <coughs> Mr. Clerk? We're granted of Verizon a National Grid proposal to install a new conduit on Montello Street from Center Street to Petronelli Way. And Council February 23rd, 2015. Council Dinopoli, motion to postpone. Properly seconded. The motion carried by a hand vote. Questions on granting. Question is on granting by a hand vote. All in favor? Opposed? The item has been granted. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Good night. Thank you. Out of the City Council authorize the approval of the solar and service agreement between Sun Edison Organization LLC and the City of Brockton. In Council November 24, 2014, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. In Council December 8, 2014, Councilor Studensky motion to continue back to the Finance Committee in January, properly seconded, motion carried by a hand vote. In City Council February 9th, Council Studensky motion to postpone, properly seconded, motion carried by a hand vote. Councilors, you received information uh, prior to tonight's meeting, so with that being said, the question is now is an adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven the order is adopted. Order that the City Council hereby declare 70 Highland Street, Lincoln School, Map 53, Route 050, Plot 10, available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous <coughs> proposer after soliciting requests for proposals. And further, that the mayor be it hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property. And Council February 9th, 2015, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. No. Dubois. No. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studensky. No. Sullivan. Yes. Eight in the affirmative, three in the negative. The order is adopted. Order that the City Council hereby declare the Cochrane Building consistent of three parcels, 308 Montello Street, Map 35, Route 74, Plot 305, and its associated Montello Street parking lots located at Map 111, Route 58, Plot 71, and Map <coughs> 135, Route 73, Plot 304-1, as shown in the attached plan, available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous proposer after soliciting requests for proposals, and further 
that the mayor be, and hereby is authorized, to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property. And council, February 9th, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. No. Cruz. Yes. Tanapoli. No. Dubois. No. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. No. Six in the affirmative, five in the negative. The order is adopted. Order that the mayor and or real estate custodian be authorized to place various parcels of city-owned property on the list for sale at auction and to execute any and all documents necessary to effectuate the sale of these properties. And council, September 22nd, 2014, ready for the committee on real estate, and the report is favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. <coughs> all in favor? Opposed? The amendment passes. The question now is on adoption as amended by a roll call vote, Mr. Clerk. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. An appropriation of $43,200 for the Mass Department of Public Health First Responder, and a and grant to Brockton Police Department First Responder, and the Brockton Fire Department First Responder, $22,230 for the Department of Public Health to the Police Department, and $20,880 to the Brockton Fire Department. These grant funds will be used to buy the life-saving uh, opiate overdose nasal reversal kits. There is no grant match required. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Right. One of three self laden on that sewer connection. Is it Stewart? I'm sorry, I was got distracted. Yes. <laughs> sorry. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Levin in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Appropriation of $395,164 from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal 2015 Municipal Police Service Staffing Grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2015 <coughs> Municipal Police Services Staffing Grant Fund. These grant funds provide overtime funds for the Brockton Police to use for community policing beats, community policing activities, patrol shift replacements, detective investigations, ride-alongs, quality of life impact shifts, etc. There is no required match for these funds. In Council February 23, 2015, put it to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <clears throat> Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Transfer $10,000 from Finance Department Personal Services, other than overtime, to Animal Control Personal Services Overtime in order to provide funding for additional <coughs> overtime costs necessary to maintain staffing during periods of unavoidable and unexpected <coughs> personal absences. Be advised that there is $10,000 also available in the finance department budget due to a vacant budgeted position. In council, February 23, 2015, refer to the committee on finance that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ianeri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Mr. President. Councilor Dubois. Um, on the one that uh, the clerk is about to read, number 24, I don't know if you want to handle the address as like a Scrivener's error or would you like me to amend the order because the correct address is 103 South Layden Street, not 1035 1, Layden Street. So the five must have been an S. It must have been some confusion. So I don't know how you want to an, handle it. For an, so it's 103 South, South Layden Street. We can call it. Yeah. 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 Sure. Just, just a scrivener's error. Yeah. You want to call it a scrivener's yeah, error? Yeah, I might as well just call it a scrivener's much. error. Yep. Did you already read the other one? Oh, that's an action. You're reading that one. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, let me just get it back together here. Okay, here we go. 
ordered that the DPW is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to Barris Realty Group LLC, 135 Layton Street, Brockton, for the property located at parcel ID 180223, Plot 14. In Council January 12, 2015, before the Committee on Finance, I report as favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order in compliance with the provisions of the elections laws, notice is hereby given that the special election will be held on Tuesday, May 12, 2015, in City Council, February 23, 2015. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. Councilor Cruz. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome. Uh, it's come to my attention in the last week as we've been, I've been kind of researching the uh, whole proposal that one of the things the Gaming Commission looks deeply at is the breadth of community support. Um, Seeing as how this goes before the voters and uh, my amendment will be moved if they were to vote no, I'm going to move to make an am amendment to the order. Um, and I hereby move to amend the foregoing order by deleting the word votes in the first paragraph and inserting in place thereof the words hereby approves said agreement and, and that's the end of the amendment and it, it is just to make the, uh, the agreement part of the order and show that if the public uh, does accept this, that when we go to the uh, Gaming Commission, um, that the Gaming Commission sees the, uh, the, the breadth of support is, uh, I guess, the best, uh, it's a term they has been used in some of their paperwork. So uh, that's my amendment. I'd second. A second on that. Motion's been made and seconded on the amendment in Council Cruz. You do have that in, in writing, in is writing, that correct? Yes. You do. Thank you. And again, Mr. President, this, uh, everything still goes to the voters. If the voters were to not uh, agree with uh, this order, it becomes a moot point anyway. Exactly. You've, you've heard the, uh, the amendment's been seconded. So all in favor of the amendment? All opposed? The amendment passes. The question now is an adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studensky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. The Mr. order is adopted as amended. I Council make a approved. motion for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion's been made in the second for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? Opposed? Reconsideration fails. Order that the City of Brockton shall accept the 339,040 RS Smart Growth Incentive dividend from the Commonwealth of Mass reinvested in planning activities. And Council February 23rd, 2015, before the Committee on Finance, that report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. <coughs> yes. Annapolis. Yes. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. Councilor oh. DiNapoli. Mr. President, I would like to uh, move that we take orders 27, 28, 29, and 30 collectively. Second. Second. Motion has been made and second. We take items 27, 28, 29, 30 collectively. All in favor of that? Opposed? We'll take them collectively. Mr. Clerk has to read them first. The following orders were read in Council February 23, 2015. The Standing Committee on Finance with a report of a favorable audit that the city appropriate the amount of $3,861,778 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing, including the payment of all costs incidental or related thereto at the Brookfield Elementary School. Ordered that the city appropriate the amount of $2,075,919 for the purpose of paying costs to roof repairs and resurfacing and boiler replacement at the Barrett Russell Kindergarten. Ordered that the city appropriate the amount of $3,590,000, uh, strike that, $3,590,486 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing and the boiler replacement at the Ashfield Middle School. Ordered that the City Council appropriate the amount of $2,843 gotcha. 
$843,301 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing and boiler replacement at the Gilmore Early Childhood Center. Questions on a passage to a third reading for all those four items. All in favor? Opposed? Those four <coughs> items go to a third reading. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. Uh, relative to agenda item number 26 that passed the 40-hour uh, smart growth zoning. Yes. If we could, uh, through you, Mr. President, send a, a letter of reminder to the CFO, Mr. Connan, and to the city planner, Mr. May. As you recall, when the two gentlemen came before Finance Committee, they were going to check to see the amount of money that was appropriated when this body first adopted 40-hour when the planner was Nancy Staxavoy. Correct. And we have yet, as a body, to receive that information. Okay, we can do Send that. Send a letter of reminder. Thank you, Mr. President. We will do that. Thank you, Council. We will we'll make sure that gets taken care of. All set? Yes. An appropriation of $124,604.01 from the Executive Office of Elder Affairs Fiscal 2015 <coughs> Formula Grant to Council on Aging Elder Affairs Grant Fund. Grant is to be used for salaries, including overtime, energy department equipment, and repair printing, office supplies, and registration, membership, and subscriptions. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $600,000 for the Mass Association of Council on Aging, Fiscal 2015, Keep Moving Walking Program Grant, the Council on Aging Grant Fund. Referred to finance. Ordered that the following name sum be and the same as hereby appropriated is the same as submitted by the mayor as follows. Appropriation of funds up to $4 million and excessive amounts already appropriated for DPW highway snow removal for the purpose of fiscal 2015 snow removal. As it stands, this winter snowfall <laughs> amount has been excessively high. The present snow removal budget of almost $2,358,000 has been depleted. The deficit was already in excess of about $2,300,000 before the end of February, with about one month of winter storm months remaining. Referred to finance. Ordered that the city council attorney is directed to explore and implement any and all legal strategies and filings to maintain and uphold the city charter and city ordinances as they relate to the effluent contract the mayor signed without council order or approval. Referred to finance. Resolved that the mayor be requested to appropriate money for a study of the Brockton Police Department staffing span of control and to provide recommendations for reducing supervisory positions within the department and increasing patrol officers. Referred to finance. Resolved that the mayor and the city solicitor be invited to appear before the finance committee to discuss the existing contractual agreement with Aquaria and how to ensure communications from Aquaria to the city and the city council, given the difficulty the city council has encountered in having an Aquaria representative appear before this council. Refer to finance. Order that the city hereby names a municipal building located at 60 Crescent Street as the Paul V. Studinsky Municipal Building. Referred to finance. Mr. President. Council, Council Sullivan. I have a late file, if I may. Um, may. It's resolved relative to, and if I could read it into the record, in City Council March 9th, 2015, resolved that the mayor, chief of police, chief financial officer, and the city's building superintendent come before the finance committee to discuss the position of code enforcement officer in conjunction with the police department and provide the committee with an update on when this vital position will be reinstated and operational on a daily basis. It's offered by myself and you uh, as a Ward 3 Councilor. That's right. Second. 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 Motion's been made and second to accept that late file. All in favor? Opposed? We'll accept the late file and we'll refer that to um, finance, correct, Councilor? Yes, thank you. Anything else, Councilor? Okay. Councilor Cruz. I just want to take a minute on item number 37, uh, our last item agenda. We'll certainly be discussing it next week at Finance, but uh, just for the public, I didn't want them to think that. The younger Paul Studensky file, as I filed this order, uh, as we had thought about uh, the fact that we talked about Hugo Papro tonight, and in fact was a very close friend of Paul Studensky, and came from a generation of people who, who served the city and served the public with... Uh, Nothing but always the best intentions, which we all try to, but uh, I believe probably the longest serving elected official in this city's history. And uh, uh, it was just a shame that there isn't anything to, uh, to uh, commemorate him, so I file that. And again, we'll get a little deeper into it next week. Uh, we'll probably you know, make his son get a little choked up while we talk about it, but uh, it's uh, something that I'm really excited about the opportunity for us to do, and I know 
most of my counselors support this and wanted to sign on with this, so thank you. And yeah, just wanted the public to know it was not Mr. Paul Estadensky who no, filed that. No. And, 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 it's, and it's, well, it's well overdue to be uh, truthful with you, uh, counselor. So uh, in any case, uh, appreciate those words. Any other? Uh, Council Dubois. So I may have a moment of personal privilege? Yes, you may. Thank you. So first, I want to congratulate my fellow counselor, Studensky. Your whole family must be very happy and proud to have <coughs> your dad having a building named after him. Long overdue, so congratulations. But the reason I'm standing today is to let everybody at home know that I'm having a award meeting on March 18th. It's going to start at 6.30 at the Brookfield School. That's Wednesday, March 18th, 6.30 at the Brookfield School. Everyone's welcome. Thank you. Thank you, uh, counselor. Any other... Uh any other comments, counselors? Just to let you know, next Monday evening, uh, again, finance meeting, March 16th, next Monday evening. We're going to start at 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. next Monday for finance. So I just want to uh, let everybody know that. Council Sergeant, I'm sorry. I just want to remind uh, those members that serve on the ordinance committee as chair, I am having an ordinance meeting here in this chamber at 6.30 tomorrow night. Uh, and, of course, ZBA comes in at 7 o'clock. So we only have a half-hour window, but we'll be here at 6.30 sharp. Thank you. Thank you. Any other business to come before this council this evening? Seeing none, meetings adjourned.